And it all begins, again, with Phillies, Reds. Excited to watch these teams get at it yesterday. Tough break for some of our favorite radio listeners there that laid the run line on the Phillies with a late home run that came in by Cincinnati to make that a 4-3 victory for Philadelphia as opposed to a 4-2. It's going to be one of the earlier games on the slate, though. Gibson's got the ball. He's a minus-180 favorite. Big time total here on a Dinger Tuesday at nine and a half. What are you thinking about this game? Yeah, maybe thinking some runs are going to be scored here, Kevin, because we take a look at Gibson over the past 30 days, a 5.75 XFIP number certainly doesn't help out. A K percentage, Kevin, of 11% certainly doesn't add to the equation. But get a look at this. It's one of those leap of faith that you have. So I'm not necessarily in love with that Cincinnati Ruds roster at this point now. But if we look at Kyle Gibson's splits, we just told you about the high XFIP numbers, which means he's due to get hit. Why is that? Because if you look at his lefty splits, he's a right handed pitcher, Kevin. 45 at-bats that he's faced against lefties, 266 weighted on base percentage, and an ISO of 146. To righties, a 269 weighted on base percentage, and an ISO of 085. So something has to give here. I do trust that Gibson should be able to work his way around this lineup. But the Philadelphia Phillies going up against Zuich, Zeech, Zuch, however you say it here, it's not going to be good news here for the Reds. A 5.69 XFIP number over the past 30 days. He's only faced 21 batters, Kevin. But out of those 21 batters, 14 mm. from the left-hand side, a 414 weighted on base percentage. The right-hand side, a 471. The Phillies should do enough to score, but yesterday got burned a little bit. Four runs after five innings. I was sitting on a team total of five. The Phillies didn't score the rest of the way. So burning the run line and also team totals in mm -hmm. this game. I think the Phillies will return back to scoring. Just getting a quick update here on the weather. 78 degrees, light wind blowing out the right field. So good hitting conditions today in Cincinnati. That Philadelphia team total today, now you go five and a half. Plus 102 towards Ooh. the over, so maybe a five appears throughout the yeah. day. But it's definitely a big-time number there. I do think the secondary part of this, obviously, you, you wish you got that team total yesterday, though. It's just the, you know, or I guess that maybe not the secondary. The, the big picture is the Phil's right back on the horse, right? You go up against the New mm -hmm. York Mets. You take, you take one of the games out of the three. You live with that. You got to win in a game that Max Scherzer started there. You Going back to Cincinnati, you have to win, win those games exactly what they were able to do.